Our environment is being stripped of its precious components day by day. Despite Mother Nature's severe warnings that we need to start treating her right. Having grown up in the most forested region in Kenya, I got to love and connect most with the forest landscape. And what hurts the forest and what hurts nature hurts me too. Humanity has been at war with nature for a very long time now. And nature is now hitting back. And now all this burden has been left to the children and the young people to figure it out by themselves. We are now at the brink of a severe environmental crisis which requires our urgent attention. From the dangerous climate tipping points, a mass extinction, more plastic in the ocean than fish by the year 2050, and right now air pollution has also become a leading public health crisis that is leading to the death of over 6.5 million people globally each year. Despite being the most vulnerable, I do believe that children and young people have a space, a voice, and can lead up the fight against the climate crisis. And therefore, the voices of these young people and the children must stop being ignored. A livable world now and a safe future is your birthright. And when that is denied, we rise up and demand for it. We must not remain silent. We must hold every generation accountable of how they leave this planet for the next generations. We have been pushed into this battle to end a crisis that we did not even create ourselves. But we have to keep fighting. This is my generation's future that is at stake. And if you're not with us, then you are definitely against us. And as I conclude, Albert Einstein once said that the world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but it's going to be destroyed by those who watch and do nothing. We have no time left. We who see the urgency must not give up. We have to keep up the fight because no one is going to come and save us. It is time to design a world that also addresses the urgent needs of the poor and refuse that which only preserves the way of life of the rich at the expense of the poor and the most vulnerable. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all empowered to make a difference. Empowered to make a change. We will because we can and we will because we are action. I am Elizabeth Watuti, an environment and climate activist from Kenya, the founder of Green Generation Initiative. I am and I will always be a woman of the earth. Thank you very much.